Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy Comrade Zero Spike. Back again once again today, people. Today we're here for Comrade Gotcha episode 41. And man, oh man, we got the downfall of one enemy and the return of another. And this, I didn't even think that was even freaking possible. And it proved how, it proved even more how Autotropes is this little conniving little monster, you know, wanted her daddy back and she got him <laughs> but yeah and also i did love the introduction the i think these three idols that we had i think they're com i think they're part of the common rider girls group correct me if i'm wrong i don't know i don't know for sure i haven't listened to a lot of common rider girls uh music and stuff and i don't really know much of the group like that but from what I was reading and from what I was told, like these three are part of that group. But in this episode was us to having like the search for Nijikon and trying to figure out like where he is and what he's doing and things like that. And we see that uh, Ichinose and Rene, or well, I mean Ichinose and Ren Kudo were able to defeat the big golem Malcolm thing and get uh Jeremiah, Jeremiah, and able to get Jeremiah out of there because <laughs> he left on his own fruition. And when they de he was they were like, Thank God he left because <laughs> it took so much in them just to beat this freaking golem. And man, like this golem, I, <sighs> that thing is broken, don't won't need no more of those walking around, <laughs> but yeah, so. We did see that uh, we got some news. We got we, we got some information about how spanners like black flames work. Um, him being told by Gigas, and um, you know Gigas telling him that hey, you know your powers. If you come like join me, if you like basically if you come and join me, then I can teach you how to hone those powers and things like. He's like, and spanners like I would never join you it's a ridiculous joke and he's like yeah you know you could join me or you could just defeat jeremiah and you know defeat jeremiah and he's like why why would you want me to defeat him what are you trying to do well because if you defeat him his powers would return to me so yeah you know that's a thing or you could just join me either way you know you could do whatever you want to do bro <laughs> but uh but yeah so i figure i figure by the end of this gigas will be the final boss because it seems like he wants like he feels like the other two abyssal kings are getting in his way and he wants them out of here because you know he was the end all be all villain at one point and i do feel like he should be the end all be all villain um because you know we were we were gearing up for him you know and now that these other two have just popped in and started like meddling and all this other things and stuff having their own plans he feels like he's been kind of sidelined and he's also kind of weaker so he feels like oh i need to get some of my power back and things like that so yeah you need to take out my brother and sister for me you know i mean they're not brother i mean i guess they're not brother and sister but that's just the way i'm putting it but he's like yeah just go ahead and take out my brother and sister man and then you know you can find out what about more about your powers yo hey do that you know and he was getting his and and, and spanner was getting his butt whooped by freaking Klukto. Like Klukto was molly whopping him and he was de too. He wasn't even in his full thing. And he ended up using some of his black flames to like hold her back a little bit. Like he had like a little spark of it that like pushed her back a bit. So I'm just like his black these black flames definitely seem like it it seems like if he learned how to use it and utilize them, then he most likely will be very powerful with them. And I'm really like digging that. I can't wait to see what he's able to do with them if they, you know, really go down that line. I'm really wait, happy to, you know, I'm really looking forward to seeing what he's going to do with that. And uh, yeah, we saw that Rin, um, Rin was, well, Kudo was basically, you know, she was trying to keep her promise to Autotropes and, you know, Autotropes wanted, you know, wanted them to defeat Jeremiah and stuff like that. You no, know, Jeremiah was the only, was like really, really on the prowl, like trying to find Nijikun. So he was main priority. So, you know, it, she, I guess, uh, you know, Autotropes use, use kudos like, you know, friendship loving kind of innocence to manipulate her into, 
you know getting what she wanted done because she knew that she couldn't take him out so she needed somebody else to do it for her so she can you know execute her plan of bringing back dear old daddy so yeah and we saw that Nijikun, you know he left because he was trying he wanted to find like his gotcha like he wanted to find like his little like his little purpose on his own other than to like just fighting because what spanner said last episode kind of bothered him about like about like oh kimis are just here like kimis only purpose is just the fight and that bothered that bothered him so he was trying to find something else that he could do something else that would give him some kind of purpose other than just fighting he wanted to make people happy in a different way so he does meet this uh idol girl who was you know she was dancing her name was mai and turns out mai is was part of a trio uh the trio idol girl group up and coming idol girl group and you know she ends up leaving them because she didn't feel that she was good enough to be in the group and you know she talks to Nijikun and Nijikun kind of gives her like some words of encouragement and stuff like that but she leaves and she runs off and stuff like that and uh yeah um they do end up finding Nijikun because they are going around the city and they you know they're talking they're, they're seeing that Nijikun has been around the city kind of helping other people like they talked to um two delivery men who uh Nijikun helped and they, he they tell they tell them about it we see that uh, after they're done talking to them Minato erases their memories so they don't remember any of that which I'm glad that that's I'm glad that he's the one <laughs> that's making sure that that is a you know gimmick or a trope that is not for gotten about <laughs> like he's really like doing the whole job of like keeping all this alchemy and all this Kimmy stuff all down like like secret type thing and I'm glad he's the only one that's still like really doing that <laughs> because like everybody else is just like I would do it doing it doing whatever and not really caring about who sees what but you know but Minato's like nah forget like neuralized like you you don't you don't mean remember that but um but yeah, so when they do um, find Nijikun, um, when they do finally find Nijikun, they see that he is, he goes to like the big, like, ta I guess it's like a show, a talent show type thing where like different idol groups are like, you know, competing and performing and things like that. And we see that the, uh, the two girls from the other, um, from the other idol group, the one the other girl was part of they decided that we're not going with they come on stage to tell everybody that they're not going to perform because their third member ditched them and things like that and then Nijika was like no i'm gonna dance with you guys <laughs> he tells them by the he calls them by their name and everything he dances with them and then they do a little dancing thing and Nijikun, he's there and he's blowing his rainbow breath everywhere making it all nice and colorful and whatnot and when that happens we see that they end up going backstage and then the girl the other girl she was there she comes in they end up finding Nijikun in the dressing room and stuff like that and then the other girl comes in she makes amends with the other she makes amends with the other two and you know they hug it out they thank Nijikun and everything else cool all right b plot done okay b plot done very nice very wholesome um having Nijikun have do his own little thing little cute adventure cool it's done so <laughs> um that's when Minato comes and tells him that hey you know uh jeremiah is on the way and he's like we can't fight like, everybody's like we can't fight him here he's gonna hurt people we have to protect them protect their this is their gotcha we have to protect it so that's when everybody goes in uh they see jeremiah there they get ready to fight him everybody all three riders henshin up we see minato and ringe and sabimaru they help they're helping out to a degree too they're just throwing stuff at them with alchemy and you know they're fighting them they're going at it everybody gets like their 1v1 with them like everybody gets a hit in everybody gets their 1v1 with him and then that's when um that's when we get a cool like scene where Nijikun kind of gives uh Ichinose that, that, that like that pep talk and stuff like that he pulls out a bunch of card he pulls out a bunch of kimmy cards and he is able he uses uh nichikun's like the cloning ability that he did last episode where he he's able to make he's able to turn his kimmies into their into the form that they're into the designated form that they are and he pulls out he does that and 
basically has like three different forms one of them <laughs> one of them was his base form it was yeah it was freaking hopper and steamliner and his base form was them and then it was uh ant trooper and wrestler g that form the, uh, the electric bug form and then the other form the big you know the big tentacle form the big super souped up tanky form it was that one one of the wires and and also with uh spanner and kudo so that was dope that was actually really dope they all jump they all jump um jeremiah and everybody gets their hits in and things like that and then they beat him they end up defeating him but then he turns out he's actually still alive like he didn't die like he was still alive he was laying there and he calls over autotropes and he walks and then that's when you know kudo does tell autotropes that hey you know i kept my promise and stuff like that she's like thank you and she walks over to jeremiah jeremiah's like hey come here you know let me eat you so i can regain your strength and whatever and she pulls out the golden rubus cube and she jams it into jeremiah's chest when she jams it into his chest jeremiah dies he dies but his body reforms and turns into grion and grion's like yeah i'm back what's up <laughs> he's like yeah i'm back he got a new outfit and everything like he got some gold on his pants and everything he's like yeah my my lifelong dream to bathe the earth in gold will never go away as long as i'm breathing and you know everybody everybody's shocked everybody's like shocked and whatever and then oh, she's walking and artos is walking away with green out of heat and then she turns around smiles at ringe and then ringe's face is like you little bitch you mother oh i was like i was like yo i was like but i'm thinking like why did you even trust her in the first place like this little girl don't want man this little girl just want her daddy back and she's willing to do any and everything possible to do it i'm like why did you trust her like you can't trust you like for you can't trust the 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 kid that's you know determined and self-aware and everything like that they're master manipulators <laughs> and that's what she did but yeah man Grion's back <laughs> and next episode we're gonna see some more wacky stuff i'm not gonna spoil anything but we're gonna see some more wacky stuff all i'm gonna say is sabi maru got an older brother hey <laughs> but but yeah man like this episode was great i did love the, especially the last especially that last fight with uh jeremiah like that fight was absolutely freaking awesome and i love that you know each of can make you know his forms and stuff come out and it was more than two this time it was whole three of them so but yeah man like he can s somewhat make his own little army um i did love to see the return of platinum got charged still my favorite form in the entire series right in the entire series right now because i love white suits but yeah man i'm just thinking like what is green i gonna do now i i really want to see what the bad guys are gonna like think when he walks back up because they were talking mad ish about him they were talking like he was just this he was just this low life doll that they created like he obviously is more powerful right he's obviously more powerful right now and i'm thinking that you know how's Klukto gonna feel how's Lackless gonna feel like i'm ready to see these conversations between these bad guys like is Grion gonna try and make Lackless come back is Lackless gonna is is Grion gonna talk to Gigast and uh the other abyssal king like what's gonna happen is dread gonna come back is he gonna turn back into dread like because dread's been gone a while so like and that driver I don't know who has it who has the dread driver right now i think klukto probably will have it because she was the last person to be able to turn into dread so it's like what is, are they gonna is is klukto is is she gonna leave glion and go up and is she gonna leave gigas and the abyssal kings and go back to glion like what's going down i can't wait to see these conversations and these stuff like i'm hope we get them that's what I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I hope we get them. Or all the bad guys can just decide to team up. You know, that's still a thing. They're all technically the same. So, hey, that's a little thing. But uh, other than that, this episode was dope. I did, I did really enjoy this episode. Um, the B plot 
was cool. Having Nijiko have his own little adventure, trying to find his purpose was cool, you know, and the whole like the rider fights and everything was cool. Like it was it was pretty good. The return of Gleon, return of Gleon. I, I knew he was going to come back some form of fashion. I did know. I knew he was going to come back some form of fashion. It's out. Technically, it's out of either Gleon or Gigas that are going to be the end all be all villain. I think it's going to be Gideon. That's going to be the end, still going to be the end all be all villain. Cause he was the main villain for a long, long time. So, I mean, Hey, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, what'd you guys think about this episode, man? Let me know down in the comment section below. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. As Irma's always say, stay henchened.